To get started with a mini-to-mini -mini relationship, the first thing you need are the two tables that you want to connect. So in this case, I have a user table and a channel table, and I want to connect them so a user can basically follow a bunch of channels, and each channel can be followed by any number of users. So to do that, I need to create a third table. So this table is going to go between them in a sense. It's called an association table, and it basically associates IDs from one table with IDs from another. And by connecting these, we can have a mini-to-mini -mini relationship. So what I'll do is I'll use db.table, and I'll name the table user channel, and also I'm creating a variable that has user channel as the name. It's basically just a combination of the two tables that I have already. And then I want to create two columns on this user channel table. I wanna have a user ID column and a channel ID column. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm connecting users with channels. So once we create this in the database, you'll have a third table that has only IDs and no other information. Of course, you can have other information, but that's a topic for another video. I'm just keeping it very simple just to get the relationship working in this video. So once I have this association table, this user channel table, I wanna create a relationship on the user. So this relationship will allow me to interact with this relationship using the ORM that Flask SQL Alchemy gives me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a new field on user called following. So this represents the channels that a user follows. And then I need to use db.relationship, and this basically sets up the ORM to use the relationship between these two tables. And then the first argument is the name of the other table in a string, so channel. And then I need secondary. So secondary just means another part of the relationship. In this case, it's the user channel. So I just pass in user channel. And no, by the way, I put user channel above the user table so I can use it in secondary here. If I put the user channel stuff at the bottom of the file, then I would get an error because it won't be able to find it before it's used. And then finally, I need a back reference. The back reference is basically like a pseudo column that gets created on the other table. So in this case, channel, because that's the first argument. And it will allow me to see all of the followers for that particular channel. So that, of course, will make more sense once I actually show you, but that's what it's for. So just think of the back reference as putting a fake column on the table that you have a relationship with, channel in this case. So now what I want to do is I just want to open up my terminal and import everything and create all the database tables. And once I do that, I can take a look at what I have in my database just to see if everything was created properly. So here I see the channel, user, and user channel tables. And you can see I have all the foreign keys set up on the user channel table, so three tables. And then I'll go back to my terminal and I'll just create some users. So one user will be Anthony, so username equals Anthony. I'll create another user, Aaron, and then I'll create a couple of channels. So the first will be this channel, pretty printed. So just channel and then name equals pretty printed. And then another channel I'll create is let's say Mr. Beast. So channel and then name equals Mr. Beast. And then we're gonna add all four of those to the session. So db.session.add all. And then we're just passing in a list of all four objects. And then we can finally do db.session.commit. Okay, so let's take a look at the database again. We see in the channel table, we have two rows. And then also in the user table, we have two rows. And then in the user channel table, we have nothing yet because we haven't created any relationships between users and channels in the two tables. By the way, if you made it this far in the video, you're probably really interested in Flask SQL Alchemy. So I've created a free course called Flask SQL Alchemy Basics where I cover it in much more depth. So if you wanna join this course, just go to my website, prettyprintit.com slash Flask SQL. I'll put a link in the description below as well if you wanna click there. Now back to the video. So now I'm going to take the following field and what I can do is I can treat this like a list and I can append channel objects to this list and that will create the relationship for me. So if I do anthony.following.append and then I pass in pretty printed there, that means Anthony is now following pretty printed. And of course I just need to do db.commit. And now if I come back over to the database, and look at the user channel table, we see that I have user ID equals one and channel ID equals one. And of course that's because my user ID for Anthony is one and the channel ID for pretty printed is one as well. So now if I just append Mr. Beast now, I should have two things. So I'll just commit, take a look at the database again. And now in the user channel table, I have user ID appearing twice, but one has channel ID one and the other has channel ID two. So that means Anthony is now following both Pretty Printed and Mr. Beast. And here in the terminal, if I do anthony.following, I get a list of all the channels that I'm following. So I see two there, channel Pretty Printed and channel Mr. Beast. And also, if I go over to the other object, so pretty printed, and I do dot followers, 
This is where the back reference comes into play. Dot followers will give me a list of all of the users that are following that particular channel. So you can see the relationship on both sides. So now I want to make Aaron follow Pretty Printed. So I'll do that here. Then I'll go ahead and commit. Then we can take a look at the database again and we see that now user ID two is following channel ID one. So of course, Aaron is user ID two. And then if I do Pretty Printed dot followers, I see both Anthony and Aaron in that list. And because it's something like a list, is pretty printed dot followers. What I can do is I can loop over it. So for follower in pretty printed dot followers, I can print follower dot name and I get the name of each person following the channel. I can do the same thing with anything dot following. So for channel and anything dot following, I can print out the channel name and I get all of the channel names that I'm following. And of course, if you want to do this without having created objects first, I'll just stop my terminal and restart it. So I'll import everything again. And then what I'll do is I'll just show you that Aaron doesn't exist anymore. So we know I'm in a fresh terminal session, a fresh REPL. And what I'll do is I'll query for Aaron. So user.query.filterby. And then I'll do name equals Aaron and I'll want the first result only. So dot first. And then I can see Aaron dot following is still pretty printed. So now what I'll do is I'll query for Mr. Beast. So Mr. Beast equals channel dot query dot filter by name equals Mr. Beast. And of course I want the first one. And then I'll go ahead and add that. So append to Aaron dot following and I'll add Mr. Beast. I'll do db session dot commit. We can take a look at the database again and we see now that Aaron is following Mr. Beast two and two for the user ID and channel ID. And if I go to Mr. Beast dot followers, I'll see that both Anthony and Aaron are following and still Aaron is following both pretty printed and Mr. Beast. So the last thing I want to show you is if you want to delete something because this behaves just like a list, you can remove it in the same way that you remove items from a list. And that's by using dot remove. So if I do Aaron dot following dot remove and then pass in the object that I want to remove in this case, Mr. Beast, and then commit this. So db.session.commit one more time. I'll see in the database that that fourth row is gone. So two no longer follows two. I can do Aaron.following and I see that she only follows pretty printed now. And if I do Mr. Beast.followers, I see that Anthony is the only follower. So that should get you started with many to many relationships in Flasky Gualchemy. Anything more complicated just builds on top of this.